Exercise 3A is a variation uh, with two differences. Uh, the first one is that you sometimes have to play more than one note at a time, like this. And the second one is that there are some pauses in between. Uh, please take a good look uh, at the tablature which uh, provides the information. In exercise 4 I have added some hammer-ons, pull-ups and slides to create some nice connections between the notes. It once again starts with the melody and this time on the 4th beat. Please be aware that uh, the index and the middle finger of the right hand sometimes play different strings than told before. The right hand is written down beneath the tablature. Uh, the reason behind it is uh, when you play a couple of notes like this. play it only with your middle finger, it's, it's a bit hard. If you use your index finger and middle finger um, together, you can play faster and it's, it's a bit easier. So it go, can go like this. So you first hit the string with your middle finger, then index. Exercise 4A is a little variation uh, where you play two notes at once with your index and middle finger, like this. So before we play this, it's going to be this. If you have problems with the hammer-on slides and pull-offs, uh, leave them out at first. Uh, here's the exercise. Exercise 4B is another variation with a little strum at the 2nd and the 4th beat. You keep playing the melody at the same count, so it goes like this. So you strum the, the D, G and B string together.
Here's the exercise. Exercise 5 is the last one, and it's got some more chords in the key of C, like D minor and F. The most important thing is that you let the melody stick out above the chords. Another important thing is when you start practicing, you have to take it step by step. Uh, split the song up in different parts and take one thing at a time. Uh, I will play it slowly now and uh, try to be aware of the right hand, what the fingers are doing. So here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 